Hey, it's Emily Pilbrown, creator of Master the Slim Life. How is it possible that lifestyle changes like diet, stress level, and exercise can influence and change your genetic expression? Well, enter the epigenome and the science of epigenetics. A fascinating article about epigenetics is published in Time magazine. In it, the author says that patterns of gene expression are governed by a cellular material, the epigenome, that sits on top of the genome, just outside it. It is these epigenetic marks that tell your genes to switch on or off, to speak loudly or to whisper. It is through epigenetic marks that environmental factors like diet, stress, and prenatal nutrition can make an imprint on genes that is passed from one generation to the next. So epigenetic changes represent a biological response to an environmental stressor. If you remove the environmental pressure, for example, inadequate diet and toxicity, the epigenetic marks will eventually fade and the DNA code will over time begin to revert to its original programming and express, for example, a healthier and more slim you. The epigenome responds to nutrition, toxins, and stress. And now all of these are factors within your environment that are under your control. In fact, epidemiological data suggests Indeed, that dietary changes in methyl contents could affect DNA methylation and gene expression programming. Diet is one of the more easily studied and better understood environmental factors in epigenetic change. Research indicates that consuming a methyl-rich diet can help you live a healthier life because diets high in methyl-donating nutrients can rapidly alter gene expression. What foods are rich in methyl groups that you can incorporate today to live a more vibrant, balanced, and slim life? Well, according to the University of Utah, fish, leafy vegetables, and egg yolks are just a few methyl-rich foods and among my favorites. Here is the complete table taken from the University of Utah, and it lists methyl-rich foods in the center column, the nutrient they contain, and their epigenetic role. I personally avoid soy, wheat, grains, and dairy in order to decrease inflammation in my body. But I really enjoy leafy vegetables as mentioned before, organic free-range grass-fed meat, Brazil nuts, broccoli, and garlic to name a few more of my favorites. I often get asked, is there any other way to increase methyl groups in the body that I know of and use? And great news, yes there is. I use the best live source of biologically available methyl groups and I take this product with its activator, which allows the methyl groups to be easily uptaken by the cell. A recovery of methyl groups can occur with profound effects on overall health, strength, longevity, and well-being as confirmed by the latest microassay research of Dr. Bozhensky. To learn more about the power of methylation, and the professional grade live source of methyl groups I use, click on the link below this video. I hope this video motivates you to make the right lifestyle choices starting with your food choices, and you can start incorporating the foods that I discussed in this video to feel more vibrant, because these affect you on an intimate genetic level. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think, and enter your comments below, and I will see you in the next video. For new food, lifestyle, and motivational videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Thank you guys for all your support.